Hi, and welcome to Lula and Oasis, where you can learn nonsense to your school fees, but you can find them in the nights. And today, I finished doing um, my video about um, true friends or having true friendship. So um, there was one comment there um, asking me about what do I mean about being selfish or asking about my opinion about um, being selfish. Um, I checked on Google and I've checked on some dictionary to particularly check out what selfish is all about and I've come across on the same concept and this is what it says. Um, being selfish could be in any form, be verbal, personal, it could be a motive, it could be an action, or it could be anything directed towards um, not being considerate by um, taking advantage of your own pleasure or profit. So basically, um, being selfish is um, pertaining to oneself, one's personal um, profit or personal pleasure or pers taking on person's side only, um, taking on a motives um, goal only without being considerate about the effect for other people. And yeah, I think I'm right. And in my opinion, like what I've said, it comes in all forms. I'm sorry, I'm already wearing my um, night blind because I'm just going to retire because I'm working tomorrow morning. Um, but ironically, I'm having my coffee because I won't be um, able to relax on my sleep. And I know, I know. Other people would say it's kind of ironic because sleeping or having coffee would, wouldn't make you sleep. But I think it's a personal preference, I believe, in my opinion, because it works for me. Um, having um, Taking a glass of milk won't because I'm lacto, I have lactose intolerance, so a lot of allergies but it doesn't show because I am kind of healthy so that's my story anyway going back to being selfish yeah this is my lots of bear and he's sitting beside me as usual according to my other uh, as per my other videos as well in a relationship in my opinion and I know I'm not in the right the, the position to state rules or um, state uh, guidelines but only just because of my personal opinion and personal experiences I would say not only pertaining to my personal experiences but my personal experiences towards other people that I have observed because other people would ask me some advice and other people would um, ask my time to listen to their um, problems and everything so um, if you're having a relationship whether it's intimate or non-intimate like being a friend or being a colleague or being um, with somebody having a mutual affection I should say um, I think it applies on all forms like what I have mentioned um it's like the word itself it's like you're not being considerate um in a relationship that doesn't mean when you argue a lot that would be a reason to end the relationship probably you would have a lesson um intense or level of the relationship but you cannot just say that you have ended the communication and um, being known to the other person um, in my opinion um, 
being selfish is like probably not listening to somebody who made a mistake or not considering um, forgiving the other person for a second chance or for like probably you're not giving that person to make mistakes because you yourself is avoiding to create mistakes so mind you being in a relationship whether that person is your friend or not that doesn't mean that you have to be the counterpart or um, the exact copy of the other person that you're being with um, that doesn't mean that I like um, concerts you should be going to concerts too otherwise you will have a different kind of relationship to that person and that more or less you will be ending up jumping to another relationship to another relationship and to another relationship and I believe most of it you you waste um, the opportunity of developing a good relationship and like um, having the opportunity to uh, get along with probably the best person that would be with you as you grow old so in my opinion those people who are selfish would probably um, most of the time hard-headed but on the other hand if the other person knows that this person is selfish it takes a lot of courage for the other person to inform that hey you're becoming selfish could you just please consider my feelings or could you just please consider this because probably we could work things out same goes with your siblings like with your siblings you don't have it you don't have any control or you don't have any option but to just love your sibling so having siblings without your choice it's not like your friends that you have the options to um, gives you the develop gives you the opportunity to develop your personal your personality now that would depend on the family orientation so at home everything starts on how you deal with other people when you go out other people would help you enhance what you are carry what value you're carrying from home so for those people who would see that this person is selfish I believe that you should have the guts to not little literally correct that person but most probably to um, direct that person if you actually care about it it takes a lot of courage and it takes patience and um, perseverance because most of the selfish people will not accept a correction or direction or guide guidance from other people because when when you developed a certain personality or a certain value um, it's not easy to just change it and um, one of those difficult personalities would be like if this person is selfish that person will always think that I don't have to, to change myself just for you that's most of the time how they take um, corrections or probably like telling off that you're selfish and it's not making uh, a, a good um, impression about yourself and it's not developing yourself and if you keep on doing this you won't be having friends and you won't have people that you could grow old with more of with the other person who would see this um, in my opinion I think because we're only human and being selfish is vague 
because it comes from in any form, um, leading towards um, not being considerate. So a person who is not considerate uh, needs a lot of a lot of patience and a lot of um, communication because they won't get it. They won't they won't think that they're hurting other people and they will not um, think they are sometimes wrong or sometimes they are um, becoming like the enemy of the community or whatever because that's just how they were brought up and other people would just have to accept the fact that there are other people that they couldn't change but it takes a lot of courage and art and um, imagination and creativity I think on how you would make a positive thing about other persons being selfishness I would say like for example um, you wanted to go to a movie and a group of five let's say you're the only one who wanted to go to the movie but the four of you wants to go to a restaurant so taking into considering consideration I think the best thing to do is if one of the five of you would go along with the other person who would go to the movie and the others would go straight to the restaurant while they are chatting after the movie probably you would still see them in the same restaurant or um, they would go to other activities it's like it's complicated but um, always think about um, other people if they were brought that way and you still care for that person to be your friend I think we'll just have to um, give him that moment for him for himself I guess and um, I think that's 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 how it would go because especially if you're all adults and um, the person that you care about regardless of how long you've known that person um, I guess um, you just have to um, give him that moment and then you would you could compromise on doing something else together because even siblings they get tired of um, being with the same person 24 hours a day I guess 24 7 I guess and there are some personalities where um, most of the time they would like to be left alone and then would join you later on for some events well anyway that's it for now I hope that a little idea or I have shared enough from my opinion about um, a person on how selfish they are or or in my opinion is how do I feel for those people who are selfish for me like um, I would say I would admit I'm not a perfect person and there would probably some time where I become selfish in major or minor ways either with my friends my colleagues my family my husband and my kids but at the end of the day the most important thing I guess is how you reflect on yourself because when you retire on your bed and you try to sleep um, one good thing to practice I guess for your own self is to do a self-reflection that probably you did this you, you've done that and mind you I'm not a religious person but I still believe on the greatest power above me and um, I would be selfish if a single day I won't be able to communicate with him but um, yeah um, 
I, I guess I can't see that a selfish person is bad. There are some factors that you must consider because um, the way you were brought up in your family may not be the same as other people would be brought up. And in a group of friends, there will always be one person who will be like this, one person who will be like this, but you keep on um, staying together because the chemistry works. And for as long as um, things are not that physical, deadly, or anything that would create murder, I guess. I mean, um, you can't force anyone. You can't force anyone, not even your pet, to like what you do. The same intense and um, level the way that you want them to like on a certain thing, I guess. So that's it for now. You know the drill. You can contact me on my other social media accounts. And you have the freedom to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts on your comments down below. And you can hit like or dislike and make sure that you are subscribed thank you for watching this is lula of all aces where you can learn nonsense tools for things that you can apply on your daily lives thank you for watching